Intune friends, in this video we're going to look at how to change this. So you see Outlook emails open web links by default in Microsoft Edge if you have a certain update. So it doesn't honor your default browser. So let's uh, take a look. So I open my Outlook. It's opening. I got a really important uh, link here and I want to open that in my default um, browser. So let's see if we get there. So my default browser, let's see which one it is. So if we go default apps, should be Chrome. I'll look for it here. So Google Chrome, if I click on this, uh, well, I set it as default. It was already default. So that's my default browser. If I click here now on this link in from Outlook only, then it's actually open it in Edge. And I wanted it to open in uh, Chrome. So it's, uh, it's not working as I wanted. So manually, you can change this by going File, uh, Options, and under Advanced here, you see it says here, Open Hyperlinks from Outlook in Edge. And I want it to be default browser. So I could just do here. Let me do that and then change back. So now it should open in Chrome. Because that's my default browser. If my default browser was Edge, then we will open in Edge. So yeah, this is uh, my Google Chrome. So this is how I want it. I want it to honor the default browser. So let's put that back to the default value if you have updated. So recent version of uh, uh, 365 apps, Outlook, will look like this. It will open hyperlinks in Outlook in Edge. And you might get users who have uh, uh, Firefox or Chrome or other browsers and wondering, hey, why does this happen? This happened only on Windows, not on Mac. So Microsoft got some information about this. We can look quickly. So uh, Microsoft, there are some questions here. Why is Microsoft making this change? They say it's good for the user, but uh, I don't really like this change. Uh, will this replace my default browser settings in Windows? No, it will not. And if I want how to change this, how do I do? And that's what I just show. You go File, Options, Advanced, File and Browser, Preferences, and Choose. But we don't want the users to do this uh, one by one. So let's go to our Intune and create the configuration profile to change this. So my favorite is to aka.ms forward slash in to get to intune.microsoft.com. Let's go under devices. Let's, it's going to be for Windows only. And let's create the configuration profile. We should have a few already from the previous videos. Let's create another one. And before I prefix them with GBN, I don't do that anymore. I should rename the others. So platform, well, Windows 10 and later, and it's going to be a settings catalog this time. So let's create that. And now we're going to get to name it. Let's say Outlook open links with the default uh, browser. And that sounds like a good description also. Go next. Let's click Add Settings. Here we can search. I happen to know where this one resides. It's Microsoft Office uh, 2016, uh, Office there. And then it is Links. Links. But you could have, you can search here to find it. That's usually how I do it. So we want these two. So I click here. And uh, they show up here. Perfect. Then I click the cross here. So there are two settings. Uh, choose which browser to open web links. Yes, it's under the user uh, profile. And default is Edge, and we want to use the system default browser. So let's select that one. Go next. Uh, scope tags, not using scope tags. So um, it's already set the default. Let's go next there. Who's going to get this one? I'm going to give it to all my windows. So you could do for all um, users. I'm going to target the devices though, but it's going to apply on user level. 
So here we don't need to filter, so all my four devices will get that and every user. So go next, create. And now this setting uh, should apply. So right now we don't even see it. Let me refresh. I think it has been created. Yes. So here is, well, it even says it's new one. So now it's going to take a little while. So let's wait for this to kick in. And then this value here, if we go again, file, options, under advanced, should change from uh, edge to uh, default browser. Okay, it went very quick. It's already got it. Uh, I'm not sure it's seen here. Yep, so got success. So one other way to see that this one have applied, it's to go to the registry. So let's open the registry, regedit. Let's do yes. And if you look under H key current user, because it's again, a user settings, we go under software and then policies. Here are all the settings uh, in the old style, like a group policy object. So if we go under Microsoft, we have Office, we have 16.0, we have Common and Links. So you could also send out this value, but um, uh, to do this through the registry, browser choice, and it has to be zero. So let's see, I think Outlook might need a restart for this to work, but let's look. So if we go again, Options, uh, advanced, have it changed already? Yeah, it still says uh, Microsoft Edge. Let me just restart Outlook first. So I close Outlook and start it again. I'm unsure if it, uh, I clicked on the link. Well, let, let's start that before I see the settings. I uh, know, let's check the settings first. So file, options, advanced, now it should have changed. Yep. Yeah. And you see, you can't even change it. Why? Because it's uh, in the policy here. If we delete this key, then we can change it again. So now it should open with my default browser. I'm just going to verify that, that it's still um, uh, Chrome, because uh, when I started Edge, it asked me a question. And I hesitate, did I say yes to change that? So yes, verify Chrome is my default browser. And uh, it's good if you type it where it's the apps. So it's always going to ask, uh, set as default, but nothing changed. So it, it was probably default already. So now if I open this email and click on the link, it should open with uh, Google Chrome. And it does. This is uh, Google Chrome. So if I go here, Google Chrome settings. So we have successfully done our mission, which was we wanted Outlook to not open always links with Edge, but instead open with the default browser. Again, if a user have Edge as their default browser, which it's out of the box on a Windows machine, then it will open with Edge, but at least it honored the default browser. That's all I had for this video. Thank you very much for following. See you in another one. Have a great day.